I was angry. I was angry that I had never heard of it. I studied child development. I studied psychology and I had never heard of it. And I was kind of um, frustrated, first of all, that my son was affected by something that could have been prevented. My immediate reaction was, how do I not know about this? How have I never heard about CMV? I lost a baby to CMV. My story is a little bit different than the average CMV family story. When the doctor suggested that Alex be tested after he learned that there was no history of hearing loss in our family, he suggested we be tested for C or that he be tested for CMV. And of course, our first question is, what what is CMV? We've never heard of that. We struggled a lot with Daisy's hearing loss because she wasn't diagnosed very early. We didn't know she had CMV and we didn't know the potential for a progressive hearing loss. And so she was identified pretty late, about 15 months old with a hearing loss and then lost her hearing really quickly after that. For Weston, CMV has really impacted his hearing and pretty much he started with hearing and ended with, in within a year, no hearing. By 25 weeks I went in and there was no heartbeat on that ultrasound. CMV stands for cytomegalovirus, and it's actually a very common virus. It's the most common virus no one's ever heard of. It's spread through uh, our bodily secretions, meaning like saliva, urine, sexual contact. You don't even know you have it. You may have some very light symptoms, but generally no symptoms at all. However, if you're pregnant and you catch cytomegalovirus, or CMV, and you transmit it to your unborn baby, it is one of the greatest causes of birth defects. It causes more disabilities than things we all hear about, than Down syndrome, than spina bifida, than a lot of those other things. About 20% of children that are born with congenital CMV will go on to have symptoms, and they can be um, microcephaly, hearing loss, visual loss, uh, seizures, and developmental disabilities. The thing you need to be concerned about it is transmitted through body fluids, and so you don't want to get a body fluid on your hand and then touch your eyes, your nose, or mouth. And they think the most common way a woman gets infected when she's pregnant is through urine or saliva of a, of a young child. I love my, my son, and I want to give him kisses all the time, but when you're pregnant, just try to kiss him on the forehead. It's only nine months. You're already making so many sacrifices, and it's worth it to have a healthy child. Act as though everyone around you is potentially carrying a cold that you're trying to avoid. You know, the same way that you would, if you have another child that's sick with a cold or the flu and you don't want to get it. You're washing your hands constantly. You're not sharing any beverages or food or kisses, anything like that. For nine months, if it, if it could possibly reduce the risk of your child having disabilities or losing your baby, it's, it's worth it.